These are three dynamic array function you must know in Excel. The first one would be choose rows function. The first argument on the choose row function is your data set itself. The second argument is the row numbers. I'm going to choose row number one, which is going to be my header. And let's say if you choose row number three, which is for March data, and then row number four and row number six and so on, and close parenthesis and hit enter, and you'll return however many number of rows you have selected on the argument. The second function for dynamic array function would be the choose column function. In there, the first argument would be your data set, like in choose row, comma, and then the next one with the column number. I'm going to say month, which is number one, comma, and say choose Asia, number three, which is goes one to number three here like this. And let's choose number four as well, which is our Western close parenthesis and hit enter. And it will return three columns of data for you. And finally, the last function is your take function. The first argument would be the data set itself, like your choose columns and choose rows function, comma. And then the next one is your row definition. Let's say if you say four rows, comma, two columns, which means it covers four rows as in one row. February is two, March is three, and April is four row. And two column, which means the whole month column and America column like this. Close parenthesis and hit enter. You'll return a matrix of four by two from your data set table.